I'll be back for you. Okay, thank you. Hi everyone, Susie McRae here, proud global founder from Amherst, Massachusetts in the United States. Today is our Let's Bless Our Loved Ones guest webinar. You've been invited by someone who cares about you. You're gonna hear about a business called On Passive today. And then after the presentation, if any of our guests have questions, I'll let you know how you're, we're gonna go about that. So our first speaker today is Marty DeGarmo. He comes to us from New Jersey in the United States. And Marty has an extensive background in the corporate world for over 17 years, where he traveled the globe and was a project manager. After that, Marty got into online businesses, online marketing uh, for the last, oh, I don't know, Marty, it's got to be 15 plus years. Marty has been around, seen it all, understands the ins and outs, and he's going to tell you why when he heard about on passive, he knew this was a winner after all those years of being online. So Marty, if you'd like to take over and I'll see you guys for the Q and A. Awesome, Susie, great job. Fantastic, hello everybody. Here it is, 23rd of October and a week is trick or treat. I'm gonna give you a treat today or at least we're gonna try. <clears throat> um, a little about myself, I'm 61 years old. I've been in, I've been working online for uh, full time for 17 years. Uh, the beginning years, I wanna try to let you know that there's no magic wands, obviously. I mean, I lost a lot of money online trying to, trying to find that residual income or whatever's, it was kind of elusive, uh, to say the least. And so I would say the first nine years, you know, I, I, I can't tell you the first business I was in, but you get in and, you know, most of us get in and we do everything we're told, right? Do this, do that, do this. And they all have an ownership and you pay the ownership. And so right now, you know, right off the beginning, you're, you're, you're minus, okay? You're not ahead. And so you got the ownership and they're telling you, they give you a replicated website that you can use and make a list, go after your family and friends and good luck. Well, I did all that. And maybe a couple of people get in, right? Or follow you and join you. And then you find out, okay, once you go through a couple of people, now what? Well, make a list, people you went to school with, people you did, and I'm like, so I did that, okay? And let me tell you, the first couple of years, I really can't say how much I lost because my wife's in the same room, but it wasn't, it wasn't very, it wasn't good times, okay? And I didn't get online to lose money. Got on just like everybody else, I'd like to make money, I thought, you know, if they, if they have an even playing field, I know the rules, everyone can win, no problem. I can do it if they did it. Not quite that easy. Nowhere near that easy. And that's why you hear <clears throat> horrifying numbers like 97, 98, it's probably closer to 98.5, of people that go online and try to make an income or try to cr create some type of extra income it doesn't happen. It's a large number. It's a large, large number. And there's many reasons why. I'm gonna give a couple of them just so I can relate to you, but the expertise will be will follow me. Uh, Charles O'Song has 30 years experience in the IT and online business and offline. But what happens is you get into business and okay, so you're paying your, your auto ship and that could be $200 a month or more. So you're, oh man, okay, so I'm out that. You know the next month you gotta pay it again. So you're bringing people in, you're trying to get them in. <clears throat> and like I said, unless you know how to drive traffic, and when I say traffic, get eyes on what you're selling. People gotta come to you. You know, I thought, okay, I'm gonna throw this beautiful website out and everybody's just gonna jump on it because they can't help themselves. Well, there's trillions of websites out there. And everybody's thinking the same thing. And, and it doesn't work that way. 
the reason a small percentage make it is because they have the skills that they've learned and worked on for years and years and years and years in some cases. And you're, they become very good at bringing people quicker, bringing people in quicker and they quit. And that's sad. I mean, you know, about eight years into it, I'm thinking this is not, I'm, uh, this is getting weird, right? So I said, I got to learn how to drive traffic. So I spent a few years marketing, uh, trying to learn how to market on Facebook and all the social media. I got to where I could. I, I, I ran into, uh, thank God, joined Mike Ellis and Dan Street. I don't know if Dan's here. Um, and as a, as a three people, we did very, we, it was a good team because they uh, complimented things I couldn't do and I did the same for them. They were both better at something else and it was perfect. So we could drive traffic and we could get targeted traffic, which is really cool. So we're building teams. The problem was what happens now? I'm running into me 10 years ago. They don't know how to drive traffic. They don't know how to do any of that stuff. So I wind up telling them this horror story of, you gotta make a list, you gotta have a bigger why, you have to have, and I can't believe this is coming out of my mouth when I know it doesn't work. So then I said, okay, I'll make a, we'll, we'll put a system together and try to help people get where we're at. How many can you help? Three, five, 10, even 20. That's not gonna get you a residual income. So then we're thinking, okay, let's build faster. Bill, faster, you're talking about people and you're looking in their eyes and say, I'm going to help you and you can't. So about two and a half years ago, you know, I was really thinking about just not doing it. Either the company fails you, the products are not legitimate. Mr. Osong's going to go over that. Uh, it's just disgusting. Every time I, Every time you turn over a rock, there's another problem. Then you turn over another one, there's another, and, and the farther you get into it, you realize how is the average person working a full-time job or maybe a job and a half or a single parent, mother or father, how are they going to have time to do this? They're not. And the industry says it's okay if 98% of people fail. Companies are doing fine. It's not okay with me. So about two and a half years ago, I... I I started looking around. What was I looking for? I was looking for something that give an even playing field and everyone can win. Now, was that fantasy? Yeah, I thought it really was. I really did. I was looking, but I'm thinking, it's not there. Who am I kidding? And I ran into Red Redford, and I've known Red years before this. And online, a big thing is trust. Can you find someone you trust? Because everybody's got the best program, okay? <laughs> everybody's in the best program. And they know the most, you know, the same story. So I went into Red and I trusted him and Peter Rogers. And what are you guys doing? To make a long story short, this is why I don't give the presentation. I said, and I asked very simple questions. Is there an auto ship? No. Can anyone do it? Yeah, it's automated, 100% done for you. Oh boy, I'm starting to head to that. This is sounding good. Um, no auto ship? No. Uh, or are the products legitimate high demand? Absolutely being sold now for billions of dollars across the globe. Holy cow. And no more thing, and I'm adding this up in my head and I'm going, and, and I go, how much he told me? And I'm not even going to say it because I'm going to ruin the whole thing. So uh, I, I paid it and went back to Mike and Dan and said, blah, 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 blah. I told him what was up. We joined it two and a half years later. It's the best decision I made in the last 17 years. I don't even peek at other so-called opportunities because I know this is my home. Now, what I want to do now is I want to introduce it, uh, introduce you to uh, Charles Osong. He's got 30 years offline and online in the IT field. Okay, why is this a big deal? Because we're going to be talking about IT and artificial intelligence, big deal, okay? Always keep in mind, 100% automated, you don't need to be an expert in any of that. But having an expert that knows what it is, is mind blowing because he's talking to everyone. 
And when he's done, you're going to go, okay, I got to do it. That's my opinion. And if you don't, and you say, I think something's there, but I'm not sure, write me an email. I'll put it in the chat. Send me an email to passivenation at gmail.com. I will send you a copy of this webinar where you, in the comfort of your time, can play it, stop it, reverse it. Did he say that? From the, and do it. Beat it to death. Due diligence, whatever you got to do. And if you decide then it's not for you, I'm not sure what's wrong, but it's, it's out of my pay grade. But if you decide it is, then get back to the person that uh, shared it with you. Because I'm going to tell you something. It makes no difference to me if, if I get one more person because you don't need to. The game, the, the machine hasn't started yet. When this launches, that's when it goes and it's going to do everything for you. So it doesn't matter. But I, I, I want to share, and we all do with more people because I know the situation in most people's lives across the world would love to have something that's life changing as, as this company is. So I want to turn it over to. Charles Osong, he's going to go from A to Z. Every bit of it, you will know. It might be a lot to chew and swallow, but like I said, ask for the recording. I'll get it to you, and um, you'll be as happy as I am. I am totally blown away about this company. Uh, here's Mr. Charles Osong. Charles, lay Whoa. it on, buddy. Thank you so very much, Maddy. Uh, you are the best. It's so an honor to be working with great minds like you, Mike Ellis, Red Redfern, and Susie. Susie, thank you very much for doing a wonderful job bringing in our guests, introducing them or saluting them. I want to say good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're calling from to the founders who are coming to support their guests. And a special good afternoon, good evening to the guests, right? Because today, like Maddie said, is October 23rd. If you're a guest, I want you to mark this date because this is the date that your life is going to change and change for the better, okay? Because you're here to hear about a once-in-a-lifetime kind of opportunity, and I have the task to bring that to you. I will be doing this in the form of telling you my story. Mark Twain once said, as long as you tell the truth, you do not have to remember anything. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I've been in the United States for over 36 years now. Mari de Gamo just summarized his story to you. Of course, he could take five hours and that story will not be finished. I'm gonna do the same thing. And you're gonna find out that most of us with the heart have the same kind of story. And that's all of us here on this panel. Okay, for 36 years in the US, I've always worked like everybody else. I've had a job, sometimes more than one job, just over broke, that's what we say job is. And even though I was making relatively good money because I worked in the IT industry and they pay very well, relatively well, but I was still left wanting because I have a big family in the United States and outside of the United States that needed my help. And so I've always looked for ways to make extra money. A long time ago, I ran into the works of Mr. Warren Buffett, one of the wealthiest gentlemen on earth. And he said something that really resonated with me. He said, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. And I kind of agree with him. And every time I went to sleep, I'm asking myself, am I making money? Am I not making money? And of course, as you can imagine, if I'm not making money, I don't sleep very well. So just close to five years ago, I tendered my resignation for corporate America. I decided to stop working. And a friend of mine, a colleague of mine looked at me in the face and said to me, Charles, you must be very fortunate to be retiring this early. You must have saved up a lot of money. And I said to him, on the contrary, I have been working for 30 years now, and I don't seem to be able to save up the kind of money that I would love, the kind of money that will give me financial freedom. And so I have to do things another way. 
I also recalled uh, Robert Einstein who said, you keep doing the same things over and over and expecting different results. That is his definition of insanity. I agree with him. I agree with him totally. And I said, there's gotta be a better way. So I stopped working. I got myself an office in Greenbelt in Maryland for those of you who are familiar with this part of the US. And so just close to three years ago, a friend of mine walked into my office and said to me, Charles, I have this opportunity that I want to share with you. It's going to blow your mind away. <laughs> but just so you know, prior to retiring, I had been studying rigorously the behavioral patterns of successful people because I wanted to be successful. And one of them is this. You bring an opportunity to them, they will take a look at it. They're not gonna dismiss that opportunity without looking at it, never. So I pretended to be one of them that day. And I told my friend, I will take a look at it, of course. But I have my prerequisites. I have three questions that you're gonna to have to answer satisfactorily for me to move forward. It might save you time, <clears throat> excuse me, it might save me time. So question number one, this opportunity that you are bringing to me today, if I do not recruit, if I do not sell to even one person, am I gonna be able to make money? And when I say money, I mean real money, right? Not job change, enough money to give me financial freedom. As you may recall, I was retired. I was not working anymore. So I had time freedom, but I was looking for that very elusive financial freedom. Because when you have those two, then you can say you have total freedom. So I asked my friend that day, if I cannot recruit, because I'm human, I don't know how to recruit. If I cannot sell to even one person with this opportunity, am I gonna be able to make that kind of money. And he said to me, Charles, relax. You're gonna be able to make enough money to leave a legacy to your children, your children's children and beyond. That sounded like music to my ears. And I said, well, let's go to question number two. Am I gonna have to come out of pocket every month, month in, month out to pay some bill? In the industry, they call it ownership. Am I gonna have to pay a monthly ownership? He said to me, Charles, once this company launches, so in other words, this company was in pre-launch. And he said, once this company launches, you're gonna come out of pocket once, and that's it. I was liking this, I was beginning to love this, okay? But I had the third and final question the last, but certainly not the least. And I asked him, does this company have legitimate viable products? By legitimate, I mean legal. By viable, I mean necessary. Something that mankind, you and I, we need on a daily basis. Think about your cell phone. In this day and age, if you don't have your cell phone, Life is miserable. Think about internet access, Wi-Fi. You go anywhere these days, the first thing you wanna know, is there a password to the Wi-Fi? What is it? Without it, life is miserable. And by the way, if a company doesn't have viable products, my friends, believe me, it is just a matter of time before it falls. I know a bunch of you out here may have done some businesses that failed, guess what? You go back, you take a look, they did not have viable products. It's that simple. So that day I asked my friend, does this company have legitimate viable products? And he said to me, Charles, you have an extensive IT background. You will understand these products better than me. So go take a look. And I said, why not? went, took a look, came back to him. And I said to him, my friend, 
Should this company succeed in what they're trying to do? We're gonna have an internet quake. We're gonna have a shake up of the internet. But we're gonna to have to wait a while. We're gonna to have to wait five years, six years, maybe more. Because this is not an easy task. This is humongous. My friend did not like that. Because it's like all of us. He wants immediate money. He wants instant gratification. Okay? So he asked me, Charles, why would you say that though? I said, listen, you told me to take a look at the products I did. And I know what they're doing. They're using artificial intelligence, AI for short. In every step of the development process, AI, my friends, is a disruptive technology. And what do I mean by that? One that comes every once in a while, I need to change the way we do things. We have no choice, just like the internet. In other words, it will disrupt our lives. AI is yet the most disruptive technology mankind has ever known. But AI is very involved. It involves machine learning. It involves empirical data. It involves millions upon millions of lines of coding. So for those of you who are familiar with software development, you will agree with me that this is time consuming. And that is why I told my friend, we're gonna to have to buckle up, fasten our seat belts, and enjoy that roller coaster. But I also told him, I don't care how long we're gonna to have to wait. I need to be part of this company right now. I have something we call FOMO, fear of missing out. I had missed out on a few opportunities earlier on in my life. I wasn't gonna miss out on this one, not for any length of time and not at any cost. So I asked him, how much is it gonna cost me to be part of this company today? And I was thinking in my head, some huge amount of money, maybe $20,000, maybe even more. And I was ready. I had my credit card with me. Thankfully in the United States, we do not need cash. All we need are some plastics. And I had a few of those ready. But my friend looked up at me and said, Charles, you won't believe this, but all you're gonna need is 97, $97. And I said to him, you've got to be kidding. You can't possibly drive all the way to my office to be messing up with me, all right? And he said, nope, I'm dead serious. And I said, okay. Yeah, it's my credit card, put it on there. And by the time we were done, it had costed me $102. So yes, there is a $5 charge that banks would take when you, use, when you do that transaction. Big deal. I told him, consider that dinner for two. But I also told him, I do not have five years or more to be monitoring this business. I've got to put food on the table. So call me, text me, email me, do whatever it takes to get me informed when they are closer to lunch so I can get more involved. He said, deal. Eight months later, he gave me a call, Charles. The CEO of this company wants to talk to all of us in one week's time. Can you make yourself available? And I said, why not? One week later, I hop on the call, a Zoom call, just like this. And there was Mr. Ashmo Farah, the CEO of this company, the founder of this company. Mr. Ashmo Farah came up and said, folks, <clears throat> we have been making a lot of progress. In fact, we are closer to launch than ever. And I was thrown off by that statement. In my mind, I was saying, just eight months earlier, I told my friend, we're gonna be waiting for a very long time. Now, all of a sudden, this dude is telling us we are closer to lunch. So my antenna went up, okay? I'm paying attention. I'm like, who is he kidding? And he went on. He said, 
we have gone to Bangalore. Now, if you look behind me, you're going to see a building that says on passive behind Madi as well. This building is in high tech city. It is in Hyderabad. This building was leased for nine years by on passive in, de in December of 2020. At that time, this building was non-existent. Mr. Mofara had gone to Bangalore. He had leased two floors in a high rise building. And he went on, we have hired 200 engineers, the best of the best. And these guys are working day and night to make sure our dream is realized. So now in my head, I'm beginning to think, my head is playing tricks on me or whatever, I'm, I'm beginning to think. Most startup companies are gonna have 20 to 25 engineers. Most startup companies are gonna have these engineers work eight, nine, maybe 10 hours a day. I know because I've been part of a few of those. Now, Mr. Mofara had gone to India, has gone to the source. And when I say source, guys, for those of you who are familiar with IT, you would agree with me that Indians are the best in the game. So he had gone to the source and he did not get 20 or 25 engineers. He got 200 of them. And they're not working eight or nine or 10 hours a day. They are working around the clock. They are taking turns, working in shifts to make sure this baby is born. So now in my head, I'm beginning to think with this kind of a resource, yes, you're able to cut time frames with this kind of a resource. Yes, you are able to do in two or three years what is scheduled to take five or six years. So my belief factor goes up and I'm listening keenly. And he went on and he said, some of us founding members, you and I have been unethical trying to do some things that we don't want. We've worked so hard for this. So we're gonna come up with a non-disclosure agreement, an NDA for short. And a little bit later, I'm gonna let Mr. Red Reference, who's on the panel, talk a little bit more about that NDA. But Mr. Mofara said, when you see those NDAs, sign them up because it is the only way you can benefit from this company. Two months later, he called up another meeting. The NDAs are out, <clears throat> go sign them up. I went read through this long, long document. And my friends, I can assure you, I am not an attorney, not by any stretch of the imagination. But by the time I was done reading this document, it occurred to me, my friend had a perfect timing. It occurred to me that this is that time I told my friend, call me, text me, email me, so I can get involved. I look back at the time I got involved, <clears throat> at the time money energy spent, from when I got involved up until then. And I said to myself, time to roll off my sleeves, time to be part of that revolution, time to be part of that internet quake that is on the making, that is in the making, okay? So I called up a few friends in my office and I said, my friends, we are gonna have to spread the word because we are about to change the world and you wanna be part of that, okay? So we brainstormed and said, what's the best way? Zoom, thanks to technology with Zoom, all you need is a smart device. It can be a smartphone, a laptop, an iPad, doesn't matter. You need internet access, data, as you guys call it back in Africa, and boom, you're on. So what is this company I'm talking to you about? Like Susie mentioned earlier, it's called OnPassive. <clears throat> if you look behind me, you're gonna see the sign, OnPassive. And that name was not given by chance. This is a passive opportunity. What does that mean? That means when we launch, you pay one little small amount of money and Red is gonna to talk to you about that and you are done, okay? You can go to sleep, you can go to the beach and the engineers, the staff of OnPassive are gonna work on your behalf or you, just, or you do a sit down and watch the money drop into your bank account day in, day out. 
Our CEO and founder, Mr. Ash Mofara, just mentioned to you a few moments ago, he graduated with a master's in e-commerce. He went back to Harvard, did some more studies on online business. This guy has a knack for artificial intelligence, AI, that disruptive technology I mentioned to you guys a few moments ago. This guy is a guru when it comes to traffic, traffic generation. Traffic, my friends, is the reason you and I can dream today. Traffic, my friends, is so important and is the single differentiator between Unpassive and any other company you're gonna see out there. So let's spend a couple of minutes to understand what traffic is. What is traffic? Traffic is the most fundamental element in any business. It doesn't matter whether this business is online or offline. But I do know most of us have an age. We are more familiar with offline businesses. So let's start there. What is traffic in an offline business? Let's say you have one of those, you have a business. It can be any business. It can be a car dealership. It can be a barber shop, a hair salon, it doesn't matter. But let's just say it is a restaurant only because I love food. And I know each and every one of us has to eat at some point in time. So you have that restaurant and I have the same exact restaurant, same kind of food, same chef, same name, same everything. The food tastes identical. Only difference, location. Your restaurant is located in a busy area, in a shopping mall. People come in and out all the time. My restaurant is hidden. It's located in the back alley. Okay? Your restaurant is going to fare better than mine. And here is why. People are going to come to that shopping mall, minding their own business, to do their hair, their nails, buy some clothes, window shopping, whatever it is that brings them to that mall. Eventually, they'll get hungry. They'll look up, spot your restaurant, wander into your restaurant, and the end result of that is what? Sales. My restaurant, on the other hand, they are going to have to know that it is there. They're going to have to leave their homes deliberately to go there. Because of that, it suffers. It suffers from what? Traffic. So what then is traffic? The people, customers, coming in and out of your business. That's it. What about traffic online? But before I go there, I want to say this. In this digital day and age, if you have that offline business, like the restaurant I just mentioned, you better get yourself an online presence. Otherwise, you are going to be smoked by your competition. That's for sure. So what am I saying in essence? In essence, I'm saying, yes, we do have a lot of businesses offline, millions upon millions of them, but we do have more businesses online, billions of them, than we do offline. And how do they money, make their money? Traffic. They also need traffic. Without traffic, they are dead. So what is traffic online? It is clicks. That's it, clicks. You have a business online, the first thing that needs to happen for you to make a sale, someone has to click on it. No clicks, no sales. The more the clicks, the more the sales. So we have individuals online, businesses online. All, all they do is send traffic to other businesses online and they are making a killing. A typical example is Google. And then we have something called targeted traffic. Huge. What is targeted traffic? Say you go online and you're looking for a TV and somebody walks behind you and say, hey, why don't you go to charlesawesome.com? And the moment you go there, all you see are TVs, all kinds of TVs, all colors, all sizes, all prices. 
your chances of buying very high. So that store just got itself a targeted traffic, just got itself a customer that is looking for what they are offering. Our CEO and founder, Mr. Ash Mofarad, is the king of driving targeted traffic online. And that is why I said to you guys earlier, because of traffic, we can dream. He proved himself when he graduated. He got involved with a few companies online, drove a lot of traffic to them, drove customers, drove affiliates. It is true that he made some millions doing that. But these companies also made a killing. However, most of them went out of business. Why? Remember I told you guys earlier, with no viable products, no matter the business that you are in, it is a time bomb. So Mr. Mofara and his family, notably his wife, who is also in IT, are going to say, you know what? Hey, we need to stop doing this. We need to stop sending customers, people, to businesses that will eventually go out. We're going to start our own. We are going to get some legitimate, viable digital services. We're going to get founding members, you and I. We're going to drive traffic to them because we are the best. They will make money. We are going to make money. Everybody is what? Happy. Now, that's the best of Unpassive, my friends. That is why we're here today. That is why we're excited today. Over three years ago, Mr. Mofara and his friends, they're going to sit together and say, hey, we are starting our own business. We're going to get legitimate viable services. We have about 8 billion people on earth. And at any point in time, any minute, statistics show that 7 million of those are online doing something, looking for some kind of service. Now, eight, 7 million back over three years ago without COVID-19, without pandemic, you can imagine what it is today. You can multiply that number by 10, maybe more. But 7 million at the time was still a lot. So they're going to say, hey, what kind of services are these 7 million people looking for? So we can provide them. Some of you online were looking online banking. I know that. I do that sometimes twice a day. Okay? And when we do those things, there are companies online that monetize on our services. So these guys are going to say, you know what? We have AI at the back of our hands. We are going to do that too, even better. Some of us online, we are on our favorite social media, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I love Facebook. But when we are on Facebook, what are we doing? We're sending texts, photos to friends, family members, colleagues, classmates. Guess what that is called? It is called community. And these guys are going to say, you know what? With AI, we're going to have our own community, bigger and better. If you come to join us, you're going to find out. Our community is already over a million, 1 million and 22,000 and climbing by the minute. Some of us online, we are doing drop shipping, email marketing, e-commerce in general, bulk emailing. Okay. If you don't know, there are people online making six and seven figure income just doing email marketing. So these guys are going to say, you know what? We have AI. We can do that too, even better. Some of us online, video conferencing, just like you and I. If you can see me or you can hear me or both, it means you went to some application called Zoom. You put in some ID and there you are. Believe it or not, Eric Wan and his cohorts are making money as we speak. These are the founders of Zoom. And Zoom is not the only one. We have Skype, we have any meeting, Cisco WebEx, Google Hangouts, Microsoft Teams. We have a plethora of more than 25 of those making money every day, especially since the advent of COVID-19. But Zoom is the most popular. Why? Because it is the most user-friendly, but not for long. 
As you're gonna find out, those of us who have been founders for some time, we've had the opportunity to get a sneak peek of our O Connect, our own webinar platform. It is clearer, 3D, it is faster, it is more scalable, it is more secure, end-to-end -end encrypted, and above all, guess what? More affordable at a lower price point, like my friend Mike Ellis always says. But today is still Zoom's day because OnPassive has not yet launched. We are very, very close. Very, very soon, we're going to be out there. But let's focus on, on Zoom today. Prior to COVID-19, Zoom was averaging 10 million participants every day. Now, April 2020, same company took a statistic. That number had risen to over 300 million participants a day. You can imagine what it is today, okay? November 30th, 2020, Forbes magazine reported Zoom as having made more profits than ExxonMobil. ExxonMobil is, a is decades old, more than 50 years old, American oil company. So you can imagine, do you guys know why? The world is going virtual ever since the pandemic. Every university, high school, middle school, elementary school, asking students to take classes virtually. So parents, those of us who are digital immigrants, we don't know how Zoom works, guess what we do? We're gonna run up and down to find out how it works so that our kids can take classes. So the world is going virtual and OnPassive is simply gonna help us monetize. Let's talk about another service, virtual service. Virtual private network, VPN. What is that? It's a fancy name. Fancy name for a tunnel. A tunnel that cuts across a major network, such as the internet. Employers use it for privacy. Their employees can access corporate data without fear of bad guys, without fear of hackers. Ever since the pandemic, every company out there asking employees to work from home, Facebook, Microsoft, Google, even the federal government, all of them asking employees to work from home. What does that mean? That means somebody, some company has to monetize on those services. Now, these guys are on passive. They're going to say, you know what? We have AI. Well, we're going to have our own VPN. Super, super smart, more intelligent, more secure, end-to-end -end encrypted, more scalable, and above all, guess what? More affordable. When on passive launches, I can assure you, the big players in this VPN space, like Cisco Networks, they are going to find out there's a new sheriff in town, believe me. Now, let's talk about another service, Search Engine Optimization, SEO. That's a mouthful. What is it? A lot of us know about search engines. We know about Yahoo. We know about Bing. And those of us Apple enthusiasts, we know of Safari. Okay? And then everybody should know of Google. Google is so popular, it's like a verb these days. Google it, okay? These guys, you can go to Google 10 times a day, 100 times a day, free of charge. Same like Facebook, same like YouTube, all of them, okay? Yet they are multi-billion dollar companies. And you're gonna say, how do they make money? He has a multi-billion dollar question for you. How do they make money? Well, guess what? I will explain to you one of the biggest ways that Google makes money is through SEO, search engine optimization. You go to Google today, for example, to search for something, and it can be anything. It can be a watch, it can be a phone. But let's just say this camera, only because I do have a camera, camera store and I market through Google. You search for camera, a bunch of them are gonna pop up. One of them from my store. And if you click on that camera from my store, guess what? You just cost me money. Why? Because I'm going to pay for it, whether you purchase or not. I'm going to pay for that click. They call it pay per click. So what does Google say? If you're a business person, an individual, a big business, you market something through us, and the customer comes looking for that item, guess what? We're going to charge you. How do we prove they have come looking for it? They click. They buy it. They don't buy it. None of our business, our job is done. So imagine a small business person like me, almost insignificant 
online, but I'm paying Google averagely $400 a month. I'm also paying Microsoft. Why? Bill Gates bought over a company called Bing, revamped it, and now people like us have to pay him. I'm paying a company called Go, uh, GoDaddy for what? Domain name service, DNS. What is that? Every company online has to have a domain name. And what is a domain name? When you hear xsx.com, .net, .info, that is a domain name. And somebody has to monetize on them. And there are billions of them out there. Okay? Now, these guys are on passive. They say, you know what? With AI, we're going to have our own DNS. We're going to have our own domain name service. So we are going to monetize on those. We're going to use SEO to send traffic to our businesses. So we're going to monetize on those. When OnPassive launches, the big players in this SEO space, they are going to know there is a new kid on the block. I can assure you that, my friends. So what am I doing here, folks? All I'm doing is simple. I'm giving you the services that OnPassive is putting together, the ones that you and I can relate to, because there are many. We have virtual learning. We have tracking software. We have all kinds of applications online. Some of us may not even need it. We have accounting, we have uh, human resource. Some of us may not even need it. If we are self-employed, you may not even know about it. But I don't care who you are. I don't care what you do. You're gonna need social media, okay? So these ones that I'm giving to you are the ones that you can relate to. What is OnPassive doing? OnPassive says, hey, if you're an individual, you're a business person online, you need it, we've got it for you in one place. Under one umbrella. In IT, we call it single sign on. And here's a big word for you to take home today. They are all integrated. No company on earth has ever succeeded in integrating these. And at OnPassive, we are 99% there. It is already done and it's going to be revealed pretty, pretty soon. Now, I told you guys earlier. You don't have to recruit with OnPassive to make money. You don't have to sell to make money. You don't have to come out of pocket every month to pay some other shit. And above all, we have the most legitimate, viable digital services in this day and age. Now that's value, my friends, value. You're not gonna find anywhere. And if you do, I urge you, you contact any one of us on this panel. We will be happy to be your first customer. You're going to be hard pressed to find any. It doesn't exist. And that's why we are so happy. Now, with this kind of value, what is it going to take for you to be a founder today for a limited time only? Because I can assure you very soon, this webinar is not going to be about founders anymore. Very, very soon. What is it going to take for you to become a founder today? I am going to let my friend, Red Redfin, tell you what it's going to take. I told you when I came in, Almost three years ago, it was $97. I'm going to let Mr. Redfern, who has been with this company almost since the inception, he understands the ins and the outs. He knows almost everything about this company. In fact, we'll call him Mr. Q&A. That means he has the answers to all the questions, right? So, Red, I want you to take it over and explain to them how they're going to get in this business and whatever else they need. Thank you. Thanks very much, Charles. I always love uh, your explanation of the on passive especially your story it resonates with so many people and you know something if people can't take something back from this then really this opportunity is not for them but i'm sure there's many people out there right now who have at least pricked their interest so let's go back then charles has already mentioned that to be a founder it cost him 97 dollars three years ago it cost him 97 dollars so with on passive you will only ever pay twice out of pocket what does out of pocket mean? It quite frankly means money that you have to pay yourself. The first one is exactly the same as what uh, Charles had to pay, and that is 97 US dollar. This gives you the founder's position within on passive. This gets your foot in the door and it locks you in, more importantly, to the pay structure of on passive. There is one other payment that you have to make, and this is when we launch to the public as a customer-based business. This presentation that Charles has expertly done is all about the founder's position within non-passive, but when we launch to the world, we are gonna be a customer-based business. 
So you will have to activate that account. Now, the activation fee is a one-time payment of around about two to 300 US dollars. We don't know exactly what it's going to be because our CEO and founder, Ash Mufara, wants it to be as affordable as possible. But before he does that, he needs to know how much the business is going to cost him to run. So if you have in your mind maximum of $300 and $97 to become a founder, that is the maximum that you will have to pay out of pocket. All subsequent payments will come out of commissions that are generated for you on your behalf by the company. So you do not have to worry about any subsequent payments whatsoever with on passive because they will generate all that money for you. So once you have, uh, if you have decided to uh, sign up and become a founder with us, how do you go about it? Very easily, you get back in contact with the person who has invited you here to this presentation today. And you say to them, hey, I'm really interested in what I've heard today and what I've listened to. Can you give me some more details? And most importantly, I want to sign up as a founder. That person will give you their registration link. You put in your uh, first name and surname into that link that he sends you, along with a valid email address. You click send. OK, and that is the first part you have to do. This will open up a payment gateway. Within that payment gateway, you'll be offered various means to pay for that founder's position. Uh, you can pay by debit, credit card, Visa, MasterCard. This is preferred preferred method. And as Charles said, there is a five dollar bank charge for that. So the, you'll be paying one hundred and two US dollars. We say this is a preferred method because it is instant and you will get your access straight away. There is other means as well, cryptocurrency and other forms as well, depending on your country. Once you have done that and it has been verified, the next thing you have to do is remember Charles talked about a thing called the NDA. This is the non-disclosure agreement. Once you've done the payment process, the next time you log back into your account will pop up the NDA. Now, this is here for two reasons. One, to protect us guys, the founders, but also to protect and show how serious OnPassive is as a company to be online with. It is a lot of legal beagle stuff with there. You can actually print it off if you want to. There's five pages and you can take it to a, a legal person for them to look at if you want to. If you don't want to do that, scroll all the way down to the bottom. There is two checkboxes that you have to tick to make sure that we know that you have read them and you understand them. And there's also a box where you have to sign it. If you have a smart device, so a iPhone or a laptop or even a, a um, iPad, you can do it digitally on there with your finger. If not, you can use a, a desktop and you can digitally sign it as well. Once you've done that, then you get access to the founders only back office where there is loads and loads of information to help you on your journey. Webinar recordings, there's a community section where you can chat with like minded people. You also have bespoke links that have your name on it that you can then send out to friends and family if you want to. Remember, you don't have to. But why wouldn't you share the good news we all have here? Because we know the value of this founders opportunity in on passive and lots, lots more as well. There is two things I want to leave you with just to think about before we hand it back over to Susie. Now, Charles was on about other internet companies out there and great minds that have produced some of the mega giants of companies that we see right now today. One of those is Elon Musk. No, it's not actually, it's Jeff Bezos, actually, who has not only the richest man in the world, but he also has the richest company in the world. And it is all virtual, it is all digital. They don't have physical offices. Now he's been having this tit for tat with his other billionaire mates to see who wants, who's gonna be the first person in space. Now, when he went up, uh, he came back down and when he got out of his spaceship, he said to the crowd, I'd like to thank my employees and especially my customers for giving me the money to be able to do this. This is the arrogance of this man. The reason he is the richest person at the moment 
on the planet is because he wants to keep the majority of the money to himself. A very, very small proportion of his wealth goes to other people. We have a CEO and founder here who actually wants to give us the majority of his profits to the foundership. But did you also know that in the inception of uh, Amazon, which has been around about 20 odd years now, they have produced over 40,000 millionaires in that time. And he doesn't even want to give any of that money away. Just imagine how many millionaires will be coming out of on passive in the years to come. I would not be surprised that there is going to be a million millionaires in years to come coming out of on passive. And the last thing I'm going to leave you with is your decision today will have an impact on yourself, your family and your friends in the next two years. Everything that is happening to you today is a result of decisions and things that happened two years ago. So make that right decision today that is going to impact you in two years time. For the sake of 97 US dollars, it really is a fantastic opportunity to get hold of the next internet giant that is coming up in front of your eyes. They always say the early bird catches the worm. Do not miss out on this opportunity. Many of us have missed out on many, many other ones. Don't let this one go, guys. Back over to you, Susie. Okay, thank you so much, Red. Yes, I agree with you. Wonderfully uh, explaining that to jump on board. Thank you, Charles, uh, for a great presentation. If I were a guest in the audience today, I would be <laughs> calling the person right away who invited uh, me. Charles, you have a wealth of knowledge and uh, your credibility with understanding on passive is bar none. So thank you for a great presentation. I have enabled the chat and this is, before we get to a few, uh, Mike Ellis here, I just wanna explain how we're gonna do the Q&A today. See, the Q&A today is for our guests only. So if you have a question and you are a guest, you can raise your hand. There's an icon down uh, on the screen, you raise your hand and then I can see your hand raised. I will bring you on to the panel live. When you come on the panel, you'll see your screen change. You have to accept to become a panelist. And then we'll un you can unmute yourself and you can ask the panel a question. If you're shy, uh, you can type your question in the chat and we will do our best to get through them and to answer them. If you are a founder today and joining us, please refrain from raising your hand and please refrain from typing founder questions in the chat. We want to be respectful of the panelists' time and of our guest time. So please, please, please follow these instructions. We appreciate you all being here, but this is for our guests. And also, if you would like a copy of today's webinar, you can send an email to um, onpassivenation at gmail.com, and we will continue to put that in the chat. So uh, Red, if um, you can keep an eye on the chat, I'll bring people in. But in the meantime, I'd like Certainly. to introduce um, Mike Ellis is here today. Mike Ellis uh, knows on passive inside and out. He's also a wealth of knowledge. He's been involved for over two and a half years now and nothing you ask us today uh, is going to stump the panel. So Mike, if you just like to add your two cents after hearing the presentation today, that would be great. Yeah, Susie, I have to jump off of this webinar fairly quick. I have to get on another call. But to the new individuals that are, that are here, Unpassive is extremely unique. They're one of those companies that is actually doing what they tell us they're going to do. And once you come in and you, you start to explore Unpassive a little more extensively, you're going to find that it doesn't get worse. It just gets better and better and better. It will find it, it will give you a way forward to take care of that financial bo bottom line and actually come on and start making income online. And that's how it's structured. It's structured for you and I to come online and be successful. I'm sorry I have to run, but but this was uh, planned a while back, and I need to get on this call. It's all on passive. It's another on passive call. 
but I'm gonna, you, you all are in great hands with Charles and Susie and Marty and, and Red. Uh, believe me, there's not a thing you can answer, you can ask that they can't answer. So I'll see you all next week. Sorry I had to go, but it's just one of those things. That's, right, Mike, okay. See you on That's okay. Yeah, thanks, Mike. Good to see you. Uh, so it looks like um, everyone, okay, we do have uh, everyone that I am looking to bring on has declined <laughs> to become a panelist. So I'm lowering all the hands again. If you're a, a guest today and you've seen this presentation, we have over 500 people here today. So if you're a guest and you have a question, please type it in the chat. If you're a founder, please do not type questions in the chat. Uh, we're gonna keep it that simple. Uh, I'm going, there's still a few people raising their hands. Uh, looks like the same ones that, um, have been de declined. So it looks like right now, we don't have anyone who wants to come on as a panelist. So I'm gonna share uh, my two cents on things. So when I was presented with on passive, I saw four bullet points on a post in, uh, okay, we do have someone coming in. Four bullet posts on a post in um, a woman's entrepreneur group. And I said, oh my goodness, just those four bullet points about being automated, no recruiting, uh, doing the work for you, become a founder. I jumped right on board and then started doing my uh, education and investigation as to more and more about on passive. That was January, 2020. And I gotta tell you, I've been involved every day and every day just gets better and better. So uh, you've had a great presentation today. Even if you catch just a few points from today and catch the vision, we know you're gonna jump on board. Okay, we do have someone who has uh, come in. If you could unmute yourself, is it Gabila? Gabila uh, Anakamor, G-O-B-B-I-L-L-A, if you could unmute yourself. Hello, hello. Hi, are you a, are you a, hi, are you a guest or are you a current founder? Yeah, yeah, ma'am. I'm from India, ma'am. Are you a founder? Uh, I'm a founder. Okay, this is for our guests. So I'm going to bring put you back in as an attendee. Today's questions are only for our guests. Okay, thank you. Um, it doesn't look like we have any more in there. Okay, someone is asking, uh, Donald Adams is asking, when is the launch date and what product will I be selling? So maybe Red or Charles, if you could um, possibly, you know, that was kind of in the presentation. Uh, so you're thinking that's a founder question. <laughs> Red, if you want to comment on that, you're muted right now. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, products very simply and easily any any guest here right now uh, if you go to onpassive.com okay you can go over there at your leisure and you can have a look at the moment there's around about 20 odd uh, products and services of on passive uh, that you can go into depth that big write-up about every single one and also we recommend that you go to the faq section as well and that gives you a much more in-depth uh, explanation of what every single product is going to do uh, for you and the other guests and customers uh, online. It really is a wealth of knowledge. And also if you're a founder, go and have a look if you've never had a look as well. So that will explain what the products or some of the products, we uh, estimate that we're gonna have around about 50, 51, something like that. But obviously in the future, more and more will be coming. So go over there and have a look. What was the other question, Susie, I forgot. Uh, the just the launch date and the what okay. that they'll right be as far as launch date is date is is concerned at the moment we are in the pre-launch period our next stage is where we go into the beta testing stage and then obviously the main launch which we then launch to the world as a customer based business now we still are on track to launch this year now obviously things will always change when you are uh, building a business to launch publicly and there is always going to be bumps in the roads and there's going to be setbacks but at the moment our understanding which we have been told 
okay, is that we are still on track for this year. There, a date will not be given, and the reason a date will not be given is because there is so many variables that come into play that might push us back on timings. Uh, products might not be fit for purpose, et cetera, et cetera. So the bottom line is we are very, very close, and that is for sure here. Okay, back to you, okay. Susie. Thank you, Red. Uh, we do have someone who joined the panel and I apologize. I don't know if you could unmute yourself. I'm not sure what your name is. <laughs> no, you can't read Hebrew. Yes. I'm Hi, from are, you, are you a guest? I, I'm kind of. I'm a guest because I just heard about it about an hour and a half ago. Okay, great. I also paid once, one, okay. one position. But I am a guest because I'm very new on. Okay, whatever. and what, what's your first name again? My first name is Nava. Nava, well, welcome. If you could uh, uh, give us your guest question, that would be great. Yeah. Uh, I stand from the standpoint of someone that doesn't have too much money. I can't afford to lose it. I'm in the middle of building my business, I'm moving house and I'm handicapped and I'm on um, um, disability, um, can we, forgot the name, yeah. Yeah. Uh, disability would. from the government. Yeah. So any money that I put in is something that I take out from my plate. Mm -hmm. And I want to be sure that I'm not going to lose it. Mm -hmm. How soon am I going to start earning money? Mm -hmm. And what do I need to do to make sure that I do earn it, that I do have more income because what I get from disability does not, is not enough. And my business mm -hmm. is eating a lot. Gotcha. Go ahead, Red. Okay, yeah, good. So good questions. Uh, let's start with the very first one. How secure is your money? Uh, the founder's position, which is what this presentation is about, is 97 US dollars. OK, that actually comes with a 30 day money back guarantee from the day that you sign up for. OK, that you get back from the company. If it's not for you, you just contact support. OK, and they will action a refund. If you don't believe in by that, like I said, you can actually pay by Visa, uh, MasterCard, debit or credit card. And you are covered by their guarantee anyway. So. That's your first point that's covered. So that $97 is refundable, uh, plus you can use those two forms to pay for it if you are uncertain. As so far as- 250 that I'm yeah, supposed I'm gonna, to pay in I'm, about- I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, get to that in a, in a moment. Okay. So I'm, I'm working through your questions as you gave them me. Okay. <laughs> okay, the second one is how quickly are you gonna earn money? Okay, that is entirely up to you. Obviously, this is a 100% automated program that the company is going to do for you. We, we are actually physically paying the company to do all the work. This is the second part of your payment. Your activation fee is where you are actually paying the company to get to work on your behalf to do all the marketing. They build you a website. They give you a domain name and they market all the products and services of on passive on your behalf. If a person clicks on your link that they are marketing, then they go on to pay uh, as a customer and buy one of the products and services. Guess what happens? You get a commission completely hands free without you having to do any of it. You can speed this process up because any people that you bring into the organization now before we launch to the world all go into your team. We as founders all end up on that launch day as a customer stroke reseller. So all you're doing is pre-building your existing customer base now before we launch to the world. You don't have to, you will be successful, but it'll take you more time. So okay. to get that money back, remember I said you only ever pay twice out of pocket, right? So the maximum you know you have to pay is maximum of $397. It might be less than that because I said it was between two and 300. I'm being devil's advocate for you here right now. So that the next every month you will have to pay a subscription, but it's not coming out of your own money. It's coming out of the commissions that the company are going to generate for you on your behalf. 
Okay, that's why we say you only ever pay out of pocket twice. Okay, so if you want to accelerate that, invite people to join you. If not, just let the company get to work on your behalf and you will be good. So that is the second part. And the third part, when are you going to start earning money is the day that we launch to the world. Okay, so that's going to be this year at some point. OK, but don't forget, you don't have to pay that second payment until we launch. At the moment, your out of pocket payment is 97 US dollars. You can then get to work by sharing this with other people if you want to build in your organization and giving yourself a really good springboard to start off the uh, launch of on passive if you want to. Can I add to that? The... Sure, you can. So you want to say something? Yes, I want to add to that. I want to just say this, though, because you asked, uh, you, you said you cannot afford to lose money, right? Because it's money from disability. I just want to say that there is no business on earth that doesn't have some risk element in it, okay? No business. Oh. As far as I'm concerned, this is the least risky business. I want to put it that way. Why? Because number one, you're only coming out of pocket maximum like Red said, maximum $397, maximum. That's it. And a lot of other businesses, you'll pay more. Like yeah. you just said, you have another business. I can almost guarantee you'll pay more. <laughs> I already pay more. That's what I'm saying. Almost. This is the least risky. And there's also a risk to that business. So I just want you to understand why we're saying you are guaranteed success. We cannot guarantee how soon. Some of us, myself included, have been here almost three years, right? So just imagine if you came in three years ago, then what? Okay? So we are cautiously optimistic as far as the time. It is a done deal. It is not a matter of when, of if anymore. It's a matter of when. So how soon are you going to start making money? First of all, Red just said when we launch to the public. That is true. But you must activate your account by paying that extra. Because if you don't activate your account, it means on passive has not really launched for you. Because that is the time it goes to work on your behalf. So when you pay that $97, be sure to put away $300. It could be a little less, but just be ready for when we launch. Okay? Okay. How would that make sense? Um... The founders, it's a limited amount of people. Well, the, the founders going on and on and on. Okay, the founders is gonna be closed. Foundership will be closed before we launch to the public. So yes, it is a limited amount of people, but we cannot give you a number because the CEO has said very very soon. As a matter of fact, within the next two three weeks or so maximum four weeks, we are gonna close that position because we are looking to go into semi launch. And when that happens, the people that are coming in are no longer going to be founders. Why? Because they are not helping found anything. We came okay. in, we were helping the company to found the products. When the others start coming in, when the products are founded, they are not going to be founders. So it is limited, yes. Red said, I think Red, that, that was Red that said, that the company is going to change into... Um, a customer found a customer uh, customer based uh, business based business okay so yep. that means that the 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 woman in israel uh, i saw one video before I, I came on uh said something like it is not an mlm and then she started talking mlm uh language and I understand that if I recruit the people under me, it is an element, uh, MLM, MLM because I do get profit from them. But I understand that once the founders is finished, the founders uh, part is finished, it's not an ML MLM, it's only the founders are MLM. Okay, let, uh, okay let, me, let me just stop you there. Right, every single founder here right now, including myself and Charles, who've been in for three years, we have not made one penny, one dime out of on passive, right? 
Yes, people have come in into our organization within our teams as founders, but we have made no profit at all from them. So if you're using that terminology about recruiting to make money and all the rest of it, that is not true with on passive because nobody has made any money in on passive for bringing other founders in. Why are we bringing founders in? Quite frankly, because we want uh, we want to share this opportunity with other people because it is an amazing opportunity to be, to be part of. Because we also know that all of the founders that you have in your organization, when we launch, as I said, as a customer-based business, they all become our customers, right? So we're a million strong now. When we launch the world, we all activate that account, okay? The company get to work on our behalf because we pay them to do it, but then we all become customers stroke resellers of the products and services of OnPassive. Yes, we're still founders, but we are the customer base from day one as well. Okay, but do I get any money every month? Yeah, from of course you do. do. Yeah, so, when we launch to the world. Not at the moment. Okay, but then... Then it becomes kind of an MLM. Customers no, that are not... It's not, it's not an MLM because we are selling products and services. Okay. Okay, Red, can I, can I take that, please? Is yeah. anyone getting... Let, let, me settle how, let me settle your worries, okay? Because you said the lady was speaking MLM language. So let me tell you the difference between unpassive and any MLM, okay? Okay. That's what you need to hear. An MLM, multi-level marketing business, okay? You must, listen to this word, must. You have to, or must, recruit to make one penny. Yeah. In other words, you don't recruit, you don't make money, period. It could be two, it could be three, it could be four, it could be five. They say, come in, bring two, right? For example, and then you make money, you earn income. Those two have to do the same if they want to earn income and the cycle continues and people get stuck, okay? With on passive, you come in, you zip your mouth, you don't talk to anybody, okay? And you make yeah. money and not just money, enough money to give you financial independence. Why? AI, artificial intelligence, is gonna recruit on your behalf when we launch, okay? So there is no condition or clause for MLM or on passive for you to make money, right? Now, here's the thing. Okay. Those of us who bring our friends and loved ones, and I can assure you personally, I have not talked to anybody that I don't care about. If I don't know you, I don't talk to you about on passive. And even if I do know you, and I think you don't have a good heart, I don't talk to you about on passive. Why? It is a blessing, okay? So that's the main difference. So when you say MLM language, we just tell people that we care about. So guess what? When we launch, and, and let me explain something else because you asked a question, are you gonna make money if you get people? Let's take two examples. I come into this opportunity, it's so great. The first thing I'm thinking, everybody I know, I want to bless them, right? And I talk to okay. 10 people, 10. Maybe 10, talk to five, five, talk to 15. Before you know it, we have a hundred founders before we launch. And you come in and you say, I don't want to talk to anybody, okay? You have zero founder before we launch. What well, Unpassive is promising, they are going to build every founder's team when we launch, meaning they're going to bring in customers for all of us. Okay. So what if upon launch, I have a hundred founders in my team, like I said, and you have zero and AI goes to work. And let's just say first three months or first month, AI is able to give you 10 customers, right? And you're gonna get commission on that. And okay. AI is fair, gives me 10 customers. I'm gonna get commission on that. But I do have a hundred people in my team that are founders, just like you and I, so that need 10 thousand. customers each, right? That's a yeah, thousand, thousand people. 100 that I'm gonna monetize on while you monetize on 10. The second cycle comes around, AI does the same thing. The customers are people that buy single products? 
the people that buy products, it can be single, it can be bundled, it doesn't matter. A customer is somebody that subscribes, who has subscription-based product, like Zoom, for example. As right? a founder, as a founder, I get the whole, the whole bundle, uh, bundle. bundle, right? Yes, yes, and a customer can get as that As a too. customer, I can buy the bundle or buy a product? Correct, that's correct. So a customer comes in when we launch, right? They can come in and say, oh, I want to buy this bundle. It's only $250, for example. Let's say it's $250, right? Well, this bundle looks good. It's $250, and they buy it. Or a customer can say, you know what? All I need is video conferencing. I don't need VPN. I don't need any of that. But video conferencing might be 100 bucks, right? Okay. And they buy that. They have one product. It is still customers. It doesn't matter. The price of the bundle is going to go up. It's going to be cheaper. No, the price of the bundle is cheaper. It's a bundle. That means everything bundled up. But if you want to buy them one by one. We pay 100, $250 to activate It's about, it. we don't have a, it's between 200 and 300 okay? Uh, okay? I'm just saying 250 in the middle. I just say something in the middle. Okay. Okay, right. Between 200 to 300 we pay to activate it and we get the bundle. We'll get the bundle and and then guess when what? You After launch, 30 days, yeah. When you launch, mm -hmm. someone comes in and say, I want the bundle. He'll okay. pay the same price or we'll pay Correct. They'll pay the same price, yes. The same price. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But they are not then founders. You won't be a founder. No, because they came in late. <laughs> the, the company's already <laughs> launched. Yeah. They are not no, founding he won't, he won't be ben he won't get the people under him. Okay, he will get the people. Okay, so as a founder, you've paid twice, right? Yeah. As a founder, you've paid twice, ninety-seven dollars, and between two hundred to three hundred, let's say two fifty, right? Okay. Okay, that ninety-seven dollars gives you traffic for one whole year. Okay. Now, the customer doesn't pay that founder fee, so they don't get that traffic. But the two fifty that they pay has some traffic in it also. Okay. So they're gonna benefit from that traffic, right? That bundle, that bundle has video conferencing, VPN, traffic, and all that different stuff. So the customers will also get traffic, some traffic, but they are not gonna pull out money from the system because they are customers only. Are you with me? Listen, there's I'm too much for to you to be, understand. I'm trying, on the same I'm trying day. to get the, log the logistic there to understand the, the business. Okay, so let me How tell you one. How works. All right, you're not going to understand. For me and uh, for, the, for the company. Yes, great. Richard Branson, the founder of Virgin Atlantis, the billionaire said, if someone offers you an amazing opportunity, but you don't understand it, say yes, then learn about it later, okay? There is a lot for so you I to paid. learn. I, I over, that's what I said. That's what I'm I saying. I already paid about half an hour before this. Which is uh, good. I like that. That's what I'm talking to you. And okay? now I'm asking the questions as a No, no, no. But this is the wrong. No, no knowledge. <laughs> okay. So here's what I'm trying to say. You're not going to get all those answers today. Okay. We have a lot of webinars. You need to okay. participate. For example, on Monday, right? On Monday, 2 p.m. Eastern, we have a founder's roundtable where fathers come in, will give updates where we are, right? Then they ask questions or comments. And there are other webinars around, Q and A's, different founders doing these things. We have videos, okay? okay? So you're not gonna sit here for an hour and a half webinar, hour and 15 minutes, okay? And understand everything detailedly, okay? I'm not, I'm not trying, just get the structure. <laughs> okay, so I, I think we've given you the structure. So there is a structure. We are founders. When we launch, we are gonna be the company's first customers. By doing what? So you and I, you and I, will mm -hmm. start earning money the same day. If you pay the so same day, if you, if you activate, three if you years activate, and I'm here half an hour. Yeah, if you activate on the same day, guess what? You will start earning money that same day. Okay. Very important. That's why I told you keep your activation money. Okay. Yeah, I will. So you will start earning money. I will. Okay. Thank you very much for your well, passion for all my questions. You're okay. welcome. And I hope I answered for other people, you know, people that don't uh, have money yeah. and are afraid and whatever. Yeah. Definitely. And, uh, keep in mind, you can go in the back office and there's recorded webinars there. And we have I a lot that. of information there. 
I and, saw um, I have, yeah, yeah, I saw and I have information I didn't get into them. Yeah, there's and, lots and to digest. Don't miss out on any webinars because believe me, in three years I am also learning every day. So I'm pretty yeah. sure you've got a long road. To, it's a lot. Okay. It's I a have lot. a business to build. I can't yeah. sit all day on webinars. No, no, you don't have to sit all day. Much. You don't have to sit all day. Spend one hour, two hours, three, whatever. But I can assure you, with time, with a very little I will time, know everything. You're going to find out that there's no business on F. Okay. That is one 100. I, I, one, one, word, that one word that I have to say for people that will tell them why I decided to pay before I understood everything mm -hmm. is that I, I am building an online business. And I have a lot of platforms there that I pay a lot of money for them. And I just looked at the products and I understood that I can save a lot of money just using them on my site. Although I know that it will take time because you have to launch and then I have to learn them and then I have to build another site to, to create it with the tools, the new tools. But I, in the long run, I can see that I will save a lot of money using everything that talks to each other because I pay a lot of money for someone to take care of all the bugs. Yeah, so, so let, me tell, let me tell you something. I think, I think you still need a lot of understanding about OnPassive, right? But that's a great thing. You've come in with the idea of using the tools and you're thinking you're gonna learn the tools. You don't have to, okay? Mm -hmm. But you might wanna, if you have those businesses, on passive in itself is a business. I don't know if you came on time for this presentation, but yes. in itself, it is a business. You're not going to need those. They're going to build it for you, their own business. And then you can use the tools for your other businesses. Okay. So you will find out as this goes along. I will understand how you will understand. Don't okay. worry. Just relax. Thank you very you much and goodbye. All right. Okay. Thank you. We have a few more people. And um, Charles, I can stay on a few more minutes and then I have another obligation myself. So okay. I'm going to go in order. For now, we have Chu, C-H-U, Adela, if you could unmute yourself and ask your question. Chu, Adela, Mang, hi. Are, are you a guest today? Yes, I'm sorry, I'm a guest. Good afternoon to all the panelists. I'm a guest. Speaking from Cameroon, I have a question and a very big worry. Go ahead, we can hear you. First, I wanted to ask if I want to ask if the the password that you are supposed to put in your on passive MA page, does it have a particular format that it takes or you have to just use all the characters that were given? Like first you have to use a normal a number. And then a capital letter, and then with all um, four other um, uh, letters, what letters to make a word, how you want your password to be, and then letter with other two characters. So that's my first question. And then the second question is Okay, okay, so I, your first question, okay, if you just follow the instruction, have you signed up? How did you know about all that? I signed up already. My mom in the US told me about it. So when, I signed up. When did your up. mom tell you about it? When did you sign up? It has been, I think, some months ago, like two or three months ago. Okay. So you are, so I signed you are up. a founder and you should be asking founder type questions. It's still in the making. It's still, in, make, it's still in, in the making because I haven't yet paid the registration fee. Actually, now, like this, presently, I can say I the other day, I. Put money in my account. I try to pay pay for the okay, this, registration. Let's, let's that save, is the one the hundred and two dollars. Let's save some time because we don't have a lot of time. Uh, yeah. So just for the instructions, you need characters, uppercase, lowercase, and then it has to be at least eight characters, and you should be okay. And let's go to the next. Yes. What's the next question? The next question is: I have um, uh, ready. I did the payment, but still. No email or no message has been sent to when me did you pay? indicating that I paid on Tuesday. Well, how, 28th how did you of pay? What means October? What means did you use? I used my visa card, my online card, because I went to the bank and asked for the bank if they can give me an online card. You, a card that I can... you are a founder, okay? So you can come in. 
Try to log in, go to gofounders.net, try to log into your account. Did you do that? I've tried several, but isn't just going. What message do you get? What error message do you get? The only mes message I keep on coming up, if I go there, they will tell me payment method. Okay. The tell payment. Your, you say your mom introduced you to this business? Yes. Okay, tell your mom to hook you up with some founders or some founders group so they can walk you through. This is for guests. This is not, we're not dealing with technical issues here. We're dealing with concepts. How do you, what do you understand the business? Okay, this is not a technical forum. So tell your mom to hook you up if she cannot help you. Hook you up with the person that brought her in or some other leaders. We have this kind of webinars every every day. I mean, almost every day of the week. But this right here is okay, not thank you very much. dissect technical issues. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Thank you very much. We have two more people on. Um, we're going to ask um, Kuden, Krishnan, if you could unmute yourself. And then after this, I think Red's going to take over for me. Uh, Kudan Krishnan, if you could unmute yourself, or Odiemi, Odiemi, O D E Y E M I. Oh, there's Kudan. Could are you a, a founder or are you a guest today? <clears throat> we can't hear you, Kudan. Charles, just make me a co-host, will you, please? Oh, I thought you were. Okay. <laughs> did you log? Did you go <laughs> and come back in? <laughs> okay. So we have. Um, okay, I'm we, talking. Are you are you a guest or a founder, Kudem? I think he's a founder. Okay. I'm going to change his role. And ODME has not unmuted themselves. Yeah, uh, I'll mute myself. Okay, Kudan. are you a are you a guest today or are you a founder? Well, uh, I, I still consider myself as a guest because I bought this uh, two days ago. Okay, so this is your first guest webinar. Yeah. So I just want to ask, please, with regard to the uh, the way the. Uh, that is the proceeds, so to say, is going to be distributed to uh, people. Is it through banks? Is it through uh, PayPal? I just want to understand the means by which you intend to uh, pay people for their... Okay, whatever. so so you are already a founder and that is a founder type question. Come back on Monday at 2 p.m. Eastern and okay. we're gonna break that down for you, okay? Like I say, here is just for the concept. We want your guests to understand the concept. We're not going to technical breaking down. It's going to take forever, right? So we have a founders <laughs> only webinar Monday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Charles. And thanks, Red, for taking over. Just a reminder, everyone, if you want a copy of today, don't put your email in the chat. You need to send an email to onpassivenation at gmail.com. And Marty will send you a link for this presentation. This is our guest webinar. This is for um, guests only to ask the questions. Uh, so if there's any other of you want to ask a question, you can type it in the chat or raise your hand. I'm going to lower all the hands. And yeah, if you want to, it looks like we can finish it up actually, yes, Charles actually, and Red. Yes, I think so. Okay, well, thank yeah, you, so. everybody. Do the, do, get back to the person <laughs> who invited you. Uh, this is an opportunity you don't want to miss. Thank you, guys. All right. And, and I, I can say this. Uh, this founder webinars are going to end pretty soon. And if you're a guest today and you become a founder, hopefully, before 2 p.m. Monday Eastern, please join us. Uh, it's going to be your back office. It's going to be, you can ask the person that brought you. Usually very informative. We're going to tell you where we are in the launching process. And then we're going to take comments and questions. We usually sit there for like four or five hours at a time every Monday. So do not hesitate. And if you come in, you have limited time to invite your friends and family, your loved ones. And we'll have another one of these on Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, guys. Having said that, I want to say thank you to the leaders. Thank you to the founders. Thank you to the guests. Have a great weekend. And we'll see most of you on Monday. Bye.